First at five tonight, a small business has been hit again by someone who was trying to break in overnight, which the owner says is becoming too common. Uh, but what makes this time different is that the suspect used a blowtorch to try to get inside his business. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke to the owner and joins us live from Southwest Portland with more. Connor. Well, Pete and Riel, I've talked to Yosef Jabari before in the past about numerous break-ins, and he says since I've talked to him, crime still isn't getting any better. Now, the latest is incident happened early this morning with that suspect trying to use a blowtorch on the glass of the front door to try to crack it and get in. Luckily, he wasn't able to, but it was all caught on camera. A new tool to break into a store Yosef Jabari says he's never seen before. That's the first time they try to use this uh, technique, you know, to warm the uh, glass and uh, make it uh, blown up by himself. Early Wednesday morning, Jabari's store at Park Avenue Market was hit by someone trying to break in. You can see from this video, a person walked up to his front door made out of glass, then lights what appears to be a blowtorch and places it up to the glass. That person wasn't able to get in. Luckily, you know, this just uh, doesn't make any fire because, you know, we use like a border behind it so it doesn't get a fire. Other way, there was like a big fire in the building. But this was the aftermath. The photo shows you the scorch mark left on the glass with the heat cracking the rest. For some reason, they don't come in. After a couple of minutes, the police, they show up in the in front of the business. Portland police say they did respond to a call of an alarm going off at Jabari's store. He says it was triggered once the glass cracked. And this isn't the first time he's dealt with crime. Every day getting worse. You know, we got shot Uplifting, you know, and uh, increase uh, too much uh, every day. The frame surrounding his front door is full of pictures of people he says stole or have tried to steal from his store since the beginning of the pandemic. I spoke to Jabari last January about two different incidents of a person jumping the cashier counter to steal electronic cigarettes. Since speaking with him, he's dealt with vandalism and more break-ins. The city is saying like downtown getting better. I don't think so. And now it's becoming worse and worse and every day. More shoplifting, uh, more more problem in the, in the neighborhood. As the city works to clean up downtown of crime, illegal drugs, and unsanctioned camps, Jabari says he's looking towards the election for change. I have a little bit of hope. Hopefully, you know, this is be a little bit different change. Now, Jabari says that it's becoming increasingly difficult to own a business here in downtown Portland. He said he used to love Portland when he immigrated here from Iraq about 25 years ago. But he says if he has the opportunity to move to the suburbs, he would. But for now, reporting live in southwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.